potato chips. Herb. There's not one thing down here that isn't all starch and salt. That's what I like. Starch and salt. Hmm. Wonder if Dr. Crane likes them. Marie, you wouldn't. Wouldn't I? I have very few friends left, Herb. Those that I've got, I've got to keep healthy. How about some nice whole wheat crackers? Whole wheat crackers? You're a good woman, Mary. Wasting your time shopping for me. Nonsense. Gets me out in the fresh air. Gives me a little exercise. Keeps me from spending another night at home watching reruns on TV. <laughs> <laughs> I like reruns. Huh? You like potato chips. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Mom. Mickey, you caught me just as I was going out the door. Out the door at this time of night? I'm going to do some shopping for Herb across the hall. It wasn't for me. I don't think he'd eat. How many times do I have to tell you that neighborhood is not the same? Well, what neighborhood is? The person still has to shop. So now you're shopping for the whole building? Mom, I'm just calling to remind you that you said you would come and see my renovations now. You promised, right? This is the third day in a row you called to remind me. Do I seem that forgetful? No, 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 no. I, um, well, I did them all myself, and I'm just anxious for you to see them. Yeah, and I want to be there. I know. If I don't show up, you'll send Kevin to arrest me. You got it. Bye, Ma. Bye, honey. <laughs> What's the matter? She said she'd come, didn't she? Yeah, yeah. She seems to be going too smoothly. Well, it's impossible for surprise parties to go too smoothly. Yeah. Every other time I plan one of these things for her, she has always sniffed it out. And the day before, she phones me up and says, what do you think I should wear, honey? Well, maybe she already knows what she's going to wear. Thanks. Streets, ain't it, Granny? You want I don't know yet. Why don't we look in your purse and see what we can find? Good idea. <laughs> Fifty bucks! Fifty bucks! <laughs> Guess who just cashed their old age check? <laughs> Listen, please. Take the money that's in the wallet, but uh, don't take the $50. That belongs to a friend, and I can't afford to lose it. Oh, a friend, friend. called. What about us? You think we can afford to have an old lady wandering around with 50 bucks on her, and we got nothing? Uh -huh. Well, you're worried about the wrong friends, old lady. You ought to worry about us. Yeah. We're all alone out here, <laughs> deprived. We're deprived. You know what I mean? <laughs> Don't, don't do that. You don't give a damn, do you? You're just a mean old lady. No, 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 no. no. Birthdays are funny events. Artificial, really. They just happen to be the date you're born on. In middle age, there's something to be feared. And in old age, every one is a victory. Death cheated for another year. You hang around cops a while, you realize a birthday's just another day. And that there's people out there who'd like to make sure you never have another. Just in time to catch up on your paperwork. That's better than hanging out at Nicole's, I suppose. How is your mother's party going? I spent all afternoon blowing up balloons. 
Now, why don't you tell me what you saw? Yes, um, I saw him hit her once, and she fell. And she didn't get up again. How many were there? Ah, uh, there were three of them. Mm -hmm. And can you describe them to me? Um. Uh, what do they look like? Uh, they were uh, young. They were in their early twenties. Uh, they had shaved heads. Mm -hmm. He was. He was going to kick her. We can get a sketch artist down here, Freddie. Help that process along a little bit. Kevin, I'm going to talk to you. So talk to me. Bad news. The mugging incident that this lady witnessed, the victim, Nicole's mother. What? She's in emergency at St. Vincent's. Beat her pretty bad. Uh, will you stay with her? Let's go, Frank. I'm going to need you, Chris. I'll call in later. The mugging victim was Nicole's mother. All right, um... Uh... A little higher, Michael. No, no, a little higher. Just a tad higher. Nikki, Just... you want it higher? You're gonna have to get someone taller. Okay, okay, that's fine. Thanks, Michael. There you go. Say, you gonna play any country and western music tonight? I don't know, that's Dominic. <laughs> hey! What do you think? Uh, could best take over for a little while. I guess so, why? It's Marie. She's been hurt. What are you talking about? She was mugged. She's at St. Vincent's. We gotta get right down there now, all right? Come on, just... Just uh, give me a second. She's a strong lady. So she doesn't have to be stronger. Patient named Marie O'Hara. She brought in earlier victim mugging. Mrs. O'Hara is still in emergency. Dr. Perry's in with her now. Could I see her, please? I'm her daughter. Yes, of course. Follow me. seems okay. She's stable. She's had medication. We're still waiting for some tests to come back. She's gonna be all right, Nick. She's gonna be all right. Just stay with her. She'll be fine. Could you hang out a little while? Sir, where are you going? We're gonna find out whoever did this. We'll stay in touch. Nikki, that's the scary part. Some people just don't need a reason. Hey, man, you could have saved us some, couldn't you? No, okay. Man, I needed it. Yeah, man, he needed it. We'll get some more. You already spent all the bread. Don't I always get you more? Don't I get you everything you need? Place to live? Bread? Oh, yeah, man. We're doing real big time. Living here, beating up old ladies. <laughs> Come here, Eddie. Come here. Anytime you've got a problem with the way I run things, just tell me, Eddie. Come on, just take it down here. How's Marie? He's still in an emergency. Nikki and Christine are with her. We're getting anything out of her? 
We've been going over the books with her. She's pretty vague. All we know for certain is they were skins. One of them was wearing uh, army boots, army jacket. Sums up about 200 of them, doesn't it? I've had Colby going over the case book. You remember that old man who was beaten and robbed last week? Yeah, he died in an emergency. Yeah. Well, it seems his injuries were caused by a steel toe boot. Just like the skins were. That means they've done it more than once, yeah? yeah. They'll do it again. Man, they all have so much. All the useless trash. Damn immigrants. And the old people. Sitting around in their nice houses. Lots of money in their pockets. And here we are, hurting. Yeah, buddy, Carl, we sure had our fun with some of them, huh? <laughs> Days, mm -hmm. they're gonna give us a medal for what we've done. <laughs> Come on, Eddie. <laughs> you look like you could use a drink. Whoa! <laughs> Let's go get some bread. Through our park without asking? Oh. May I walk through the park? <laughs> May I walk through the park? May I walk through the park? Well, since you asked so nicely, sure. Yeah. You just have to give us what's in your wallet first. the same animals that beat Marie. Frank, I swear. Pretty soon they're gonna find out what it's like to be on the receiving end of this. You get anything? Not a damn thing. Look, any little thing will help. Did you see any little... Oh. The old man didn't give up easy. That looks like it's from a uniform. Maybe military. It's the kind these bastards wear when they're trying to feel like men. Chris, I owe you one, thanks. Marie's coming around. They don't know if there's gonna be any permanent damage yet, but she's not up to talking. Somebody must said a few prayers for that lady, killer. Let's find that field jack. That was a report from the hospital on that guy. Took a lot of punishment, but he'll be okay. A lot of kicks to the ribs. These dirty bastards. Now let's go and flush some of them out. I already said a word. It's probably the medication. Well, she's alert. 
And there's no impairment of her mental faculties. She's doing okay. But she's not talking. Why, why isn't she talking? It's physically painful for her to talk right now. Look, it's gonna be a slow process. But your mother's gonna have a full recovery. Just remember that uh, she's gone through a traumatic experience. She's gonna have to deal with this emotionally as well as physically. I know. Sometimes it takes a while for the emotional response to this kind of incident to come to the surface. I know. But I'm optimistic that your mother is gonna deal with this quickly. And that's a hope, not a prediction. She might need round-the-clock care for a while. Oh, she's gonna be staying with me until she's completely better, so that's fine. You uh, might also consider a home care nurse. They <laughs> don't need a nurse. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Orderly to admitting. Orderly to admitting. <sighs> Get Beth to take over the bar for a while. That's no problem. Nikki, just... it's a big responsibility. <laughs> Beth can do it. No. I mean you. That's my mom in there. I think I'm going to enjoy taking care of her. Yeah, you need to. Mom? Not much action tonight. Yeah, I'm just hiding, got nowhere to look. Oh, where do you begin? Well, 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 well. Right there, right there. Back up there. Hey, come on! The man wants to talk. You, over here. Hey, get over there! Man, you too, sweetie. Come on, give me that. Come on. Get in there! Oh, yes, yeah. baby! Oh, what's this? Yeah. What is this? What is this? Just get back there. What is that? What is that? That's the pick my teeth with. The pick your teeth with. Let's go. Turn around. Get out of here. Hey, 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 hey. Don't go to your hands, okay? The guy's just shooting his mouth off. All right, Baldy. Let's go. Let's see some ID right now. When do I get to go home? Soon. Real soon. You can stay with me. Oh. I don't know. Just until you're strong again. We can spend some time together. It'll be nice to look after you. It'll be a long time. <laughs> Mom, what is it? What? They... They took my wedding ring. It's protecting you from false arrest, harassment, and assault charges. Hey, thanks for the concern. Listen here. Let's try to remember who's on whose side of the Come on, we're all getting too edgy on this thing, Kevin. 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 It was Chris. I knew he was going to be okay. She's going home. That's great. Can she talk to us? She's ready to give a statement. Nikki's taking her to her house to stay with her for a while. Tell her a way to celebrate your 70th birthday. Remember this quilt? Grandma gave it to me when I first moved away from home. I remember when she made it. Damn thing nearly drove her crazy trying to put all those bits together. Suppose that's why they call it a crazy quilt. <laughs> we'll go over to your apartment and pick up some of your things a little later. I won't go to a whole lot of trouble just for a few days. You know what? I'm going to try out all my new recipes on you. You're going to be a very good cook, you know? Surprised? Nikki. I'm not moving in, you know. I've got a place of my own. We'll get back to that a little later. Right now, I want you to hop in here and be comfortable and relaxed while I go and make up a nice cup of tea. 
Well, you tell me where you put the kettle, and I'll go and put it on. No! Whenever I was sick as a little girl, you ran up and down those stairs a hundred times a day, catering to me. Now it's my turn. Doctor said. I heard what the doctor said. He didn't say anything about keeping me quarantined in the building. to leave cash in it. Yes! <laughs> You've got something to raise, Ricky. Flash it around, okay? In the back. Come on, let's go. In the back, come on. Don't worry about the what? We don't worry about the pig. The pig's worried about us. Somebody keep an eye out front, all right? Eddie, Eddie, would you be so kind? Yes, sir, I would. <laughs> don't touch nothing. I figure it's worth something. Good, no so what do you expect? You think we got no taste? Nothing but the best? Don't want a piece of junk. Hey, that thing's worth a couple of grand. It's an imitation, a knockoff. Yeah, well, if it's an imitation, how come the guy was crying and begging for me not to take it? Your problem, Carl, not mine. Don't jerk me around, you little grease ball. Okay, I'll take it. 125, but I gotta pay you later. 200 bucks, and you pay me now. You got the cash now. I gotta fence some stuff myself. You know, Ricky, this place is a real fire trap. Ooh. I bet you'd go up really easy. Ricky! Oh! Oh, Ricky, fire! Woo! Oh, Ricky! Okay, right. Okay, I'll give you it. Right. Here, here's half the cash. That's all I got. Oh. We'll be back for the rest later. <laughs> Have a nice day. <laughs> came out of nowhere. And they grabbed my purse. I let them take it. They were making it to boost your money. How many were there? Three. Can you describe them? <sighs> One of them uh, had an army jacket on. And all of them had their heads shaved. I'd recognize them if I saw them again. Did they call each other by name? No. Have they hit you? Ma, you don't have to answer I'm me. all right, Nikki. Please let me talk. I wasn't going to get in any trouble. But then they spotted my ring. My wedding ring. Yeah. <laughs> Suppose I was stupid. But I didn't want them to take it. Well, give me a description of this ring. Or can Kevin. you give us... I'll talk to you for a minute. Are you all right? 
I'm fine. I am fine. But that woman's in enough state for you to be... She doesn't realize the seriousness of the situation, Ken. She's talking about going home. Well, she seemed to be in pretty good shape when she said that. She could have been killed. But she's going to be fine. How do you know that? What about what happened to me? I'm still living with that in my life. I will always live with that in my life. That woman is 70 years old. What do you want to do? Hmm? <sighs> she needs somebody to be with her. You mean, right here? Hmm? Well, that's fine for a while. But she's pretty independent, isn't she? We'll work it out. Whether she goes home, whether she stays here, that is fine with me. Let's talk about it when she's recovering. Hmm? Yeah. No, I'll think about it. Marie, give us a good description of the rain. Oh, that's good. Marie, that'll be a big help to us. I'm gonna go. Nice. Thanks, Marie. Thank you. Night, Nikki. Hey, you should get some rest. Mm, my friends will be worried if I don't tell them what happened. You can call in the morning. It's too late, Ma. I want you to go to bed. Nikki, nobody has told me when to go to bed in the last 60 years. And my own daughter isn't even starting out. Not having my friends worrying needlessly. Get a wonderful new cellular phone, 995. He already put one. Cellular phones, 995. Checking out. Hey, cowboy, how you doing, man? Oh, man, I got your broker on the phone. You want to check it out? I don't have a broker. Oh, I know you don't have a broker, man. I'm just kidding you. You know what I'm saying? It's just like a little bit of a joke here. But it's attitude, man. If you got attitude, you're happy. You want to check this out? Cellular phone, man. Fake. It's plastic. Yeah, I know it's a fake. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, man, listen. Let me tell you something, man. Top the attitude without the expense. That's the whole point. That's the magic of the product. You look like a millionaire no. for nine ninety five. No. Hey, come on, don't walk away, man. I'm sorry. Sorry. It's a nice check. No, look, I... it's a good phone, man. It's quality. You want to check it out? You like beautiful women? Yeah. Oh man, cellular phones and beautiful women, man. It's like butter and butter and toast. You know what I'm saying? You put, go to an expensive restaurant. You put this on the table beside you. You punch the button. Five minutes it rings. You're at home with that girl in an hour, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I pick up 60,000 chicks a year with this. $9.95. Seven dollars. Seven bucks. Seven bucks. Hey. Yeah, yeah all right. It's a nice yeah. jacket. Yeah. Man, you look good. <laughs> all right. There you go. Way yeah. to go, man. Yeah. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Give me a call. Tell me how it works out. Don't be surprised if I don't answer it, because it's a fake phone, right? <laughs> hey. Glad to see that uh, you're in the communications business way. Time we had a little talk. Oh, man, come on. I got long distance calls to make all afternoon here, guys. I'll put them on hold. Put them on hold. Funny stuff. Listen, it's old tribe of skinheads in this neighborhood hitting on the elderly. Got a line on them? Hey, man, I got nothing on it. I mean, I'm not surprised these guys are doing it. These guys are all stoned out on PCP and stuff. Man, they're like a bunch of hyenas. Where do they sell their stuff? Hey, come on, man. Am I the only weasel in town? I'm sure there's somebody Where? else with info. Hey, no self-respecting fence is going to deal with these guys, man. They're too much of a hassle. Where? Where? All right, calm down, man. Try a record store over on uh, Church and Parliament. Thank you. Don't Thank mention you. my name, OK? No, Don't drink, worry, we won't. Yeah, I'm worry. sure. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, it's for you. It's your agent, man. That screen test in LA, it came through. Are you sure you're not hungry, Ma? Mom, you've come home. Oh, no, 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 it's too hot. I don't want you to get a chill, Ma. Nikki, will you please stop treating me like a feeble old woman? Will you please stop overreacting? Why is it that whenever somebody doesn't agree with you, they're overreacting? I don't think that you are facing the facts. What facts? You are 70 years old. You insist on living by yourself. Mm -hmm. Just tell me, please, where is it written that as soon as you're 70, you're suddenly helpless? <sighs> Nikki, I tried to raise you to make your own decisions. Well, that's what I want for myself. You understand that?
Connor here? Yeah, why, well, who's out? Can I ask you a few questions? We'll go someplace quieter. What's the matter? You don't like the tunes? We've never replaced music. We're looking for a couple of skinheads. You do any business with them? They come in to buy tapes sometimes, you know? They ever come in here to sell you stuff? Don't work like that. I sell, they buy. Mind if I look in the back? Hey, it's kind of private back there. What are you looking for? The guy's got a warrant. You need a warrant. Sign on the door set up for business. That's where you do business, right? No, you didn't hear me right. Out there is where I do business. In here, it's private. I use this one. I repair tape decks. They got real small parts. Yeah? Hey, you got no hey, rest. Just relax. Just relax. Look what we got here. You better start talking. Where'd you get this? Where'd you get this ring? I gotta make a phone call. That's not what I want to hear. Where'd you get the ring? I want to know. Where'd you get the ring? Where'd you get the ring? Come on. Hold right. it, police. Dying to meet you, skinhead. Come on. Come on. Look what the garbage man brought us. I thought trash day was tomorrow. This one in the tank, this one in the tank. What about my day? I'm going nowhere with this monkey. You ape? I'll kill you, man. You get off me. I'll kill you. Don't tell me. Those are the guys. Yeah, and it's one of them. The other one's their fence. Oh, Christine. I'm gonna check this stuff against the list of what was taken from the muggings. You got it. Think the fence will cooperate? The guy's scared enough to sell his own mother out. Maybe I can't come to the stolen goods, but really got him. Get him to ID his friends. Well, best way to hear it from his own lips. Go in there, see what you can get. I'll bring in Elaine, try to get the ball rolling. All we do is hear it from his own lips. Why do we think it ain't gonna be as easy as it sounds? Easy or not, we're gonna hear what we gotta hear. Time to talk. The name is Slash, and there's already too much talk in this world, cop. That's one of the problems. Slash, huh? The only problem you ought to be worried about is us. We don't have a lot of patience for people who beat up old ladies. Oh, you guys are good, huh? Yeah, you get to work real fast, don't you, cops? Oh, what comes next, huh? The boots? All right, go ahead, give me the boots. But let's get it all down on camera first, all right? You see? I've been beat up by cops before. It's no big deal. Yeah, maybe you can sit through a beating. But how do you feel about spending the next 30 years behind bars? I don't have anything else planned. Glad to hear that, Slash. Because when those old people you beat up died, Slash. I'm real happy to hear that you like getting beat up. Because when they hear what you are in for, there's going to be a lot of people standing in line, Slash. Look at this on tape, cop, because I'm only going to say it one time, all right? I don't know nothing about no old people. Now, if you want to get it on with this rough stuff, you go ahead. If not, leave me alone. I want to finish our discussion. I thought we were finished. Oh, no, uh, you walked away. That's no way to finish a discussion. I want you to understand. The stubbornness isn't so hard to understand. <laughs> Not for you. You've inherited all of mine and a good deal of your father's, too. Nicole, I don't want to be coddled or pitied. 
Put yourself in my position. If help were offered to me, I'd take it. So would I, if it was needed. Ma, I love you. And I want your love. But I want your respect, too. Nicole, I'm not a child. I don't want anybody, not even you, to decide what's best for me. That's why I want to go home. I have a life there. I've got, I've got friends there that need me. Uh, I need them. You take that away from me and I will be useless. And to be useless is to die. The kid's no genius, but he knows he can get a noose around his neck, and we don't. A direct ID would tighten it a bit. Is the victim from the park able to testify? Nah. He's still in pretty bad shape. Kevin, uh, I don't want to push this, but uh, how about Marie? Jim, she just got out of the hospital. Well, I know that. But a positive ID would break this kid. Now, if he doesn't give up his friends pretty soon, they're going to find out we got him and disappear. We lose our best shot. I call Nicole. Hello? Hey, Nikki, it's me. Yeah, what is it? it? Looks like we caught one of the guys who robbed Marie. You caught them? We're gonna need her to come down here and ID this guy. Kevin, she's in no shape to come down and make an identification. Nikki, I wouldn't ask, but unless we hurry up with this thing, we're gonna miss this kid's partners. Tell Kevin I'll come down. Bye, bye, bye. Well, I guess you heard the lady. The car's on the way. I told you, Nikki. I have to make my own decisions. Don't worry about it so much, man. He ain't been gone that long. Been gone long enough. I told him, get the cash and come back. He'll be back. Yeah, and maybe he won't. He's probably out getting stoned right now. Slash? He wouldn't do that to you, man. But he wouldn't live long if he did. like a whole new ball game. Marie, how would you feel about doing it face to face with him? I'd shake him up a lot. I'll do whatever I have to do, Kevin. Okay, come on. Homicide is the big time. We're talking 25 to life. <laughs> Got a visitor for you, Slash. Oh, yeah? Who? That's him. That's one of them. Looks like things have changed, huh, Punk? If she wants to start talking to us, you're gonna do all that hard time alone. All right. All right. Careful, it's hot. Thank you, Christine. You're great in there, Ma. I'm proud of you. He made me go along with everything. I'm not kidding. This guy is absolutely insane. He's been in the nut house a whole bit. You know where he is? You can't tell Carl that I squealed, all right? So I kill me. Where? Oh, there's this vacant house that we go and crash at sometimes. The guys are waiting there for me to come back with the money from Ricky. All right, got an address for where they're supposed to hole up. You guys want to get over there real quick? 
Slash says they're gonna come looking for him down the record store we're gonna try there. Kid says the leader's name is Carl. Supposed to be a real head case. Had to be. Okay, let's pick him up. And I want Ricky back down there so it looks like nothing happened. I want everyone in on this one. All right, it'll be a pleasure. Thanks, Marie. You did it just right. Just being my stubborn self. <laughs> Then where the hell is Slash? I don't know. Maybe he ran into a little action. Maybe Rick didn't show. Yeah, maybe he took off with the money. I'm sick of waiting. Let's go get him. Keep waiting. They may still show up. Yeah. Look, I don't think they're gonna show up either. Think it ain't your strong suit. Get back to the counter. Move. Gavin, looks like we're in business. Couple of skins coming in now. Uh, Two four. Uh, Lucy! You got some splaining to do! What's up, guys? That's what we want to know, Ricky. We're slashed. How am I supposed to know? A guy came in, I give him the money, and he split. Don't mess with me, Ricky. I'm really sick of people messing with me. Carl. Don't touch me, man. Hold it right there, police. Birthdays. Once a year, we all get a moment in the spotlight. The cliche says we're not getting older, we're getting better. Fact is, life doesn't always get better. Out of the spotlight, it can be rough, cold, and lonely. For 365 days a year, too many of our senior citizens get left out in the cold, ignored, forgotten. And then, for one day, we pay attention. A lot can happen in one day, but we have to forget about the other 364. I couldn't decide whether to completely renovate or just paint. So anyway, I hope you like it. Thank you. Thank you. For the future? The future. The future. Oh, let's let the future take care of itself. Let's live for the moment. I mean, you don't have the moments, you don't have the memories. You only have regrets. No regrets! No, no regrets! regrets.